Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga viewers. And I'd like to greet out yung ating viewers from the Philippines, of course, South Korea, Singapore, Taiwan, and especially no, sa Middle East, UAE, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Alright, so currently medyo weak yung market. We're seeing a lot of breakdowns sa trades and uh, there are only few strong names left para i-trade. And uh, medyo, uh, basta na, we should... Uh, be very picky and defensive at this point in time sa ating mga trades and we're going to generate yung watch list natin or yung mga positions that we should be watching at no? but before we do that let me share to you yung ating word quick word from our sponsor this comes from Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 verse 14 no? so therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and we'll call him Emmanuel. Alright, sa atin tayo, we all know who, who this points to. No? That is Jesus Christ. And I'd like you to, to, to point out, no? Na yung, even the modern day Jew ngayon, no? 2019, most of them, no? They don't accept yung si Jesus, no? So they reject flat out. And ito nga ang verse na to, isa to sa mga verses, no, na pinapaiwas sa kanila, no. So, sa kanila, they have yung rabbi, yung sila lang yung pwede mag-interpret mag ng mga verses, no. So, I'd like to point out dito na kahit sa Old Testament, even yung mga stories before, it all points out sa pagdating ni Jesus, no. He comes to us para isalba tayo. No? We all know, no? Na yung why He died on the cross para isalba tayo no? sa kasalanan. Right? So, I'd like to point out, no? Na even sa Old Testament and in my stories doon, it all points out to Jesus, no? This is one of the few verses, no? One of the many verses pala. And, lalo na, no? Sa mga nagtatrabaho sa Middle East, baka may mga boss kayo na dyan, Jujan, no? Maaring matanong kayo, at least ready kayo, no? Na mag-share sa mga nalalaman nyo, no? Sa kanila kasi, they don't have the New Testament, puro Old Testament lang sila. So, itong Isaiah is Old Testament, alright? So, pwede mong bangitin sila sa kanya yan, no? So, at up to this point, no? 2019, they are waiting for someone na dumating, and sa atin, no, mga Gentiles, alam na natin, dumating na. Alright, so, Philippines tayo, being a Christian, dominant Christian nation, I think we will have a role, no, para pagpapalagan ng gospel, and isa pa, isa tayo sa mga nations na talagang kalat-kalat, eh, kung saan-saan. Right, we, we have a lot of people sa US, sa Middle East, and even dito sa Asia, kalat-kalat tayo. Right, so, I think ang mahalaga rito, you're ready, and tulad nyo na sinasabi ko sa inyo, probably pare-paras lang tayo ng background, no? And, uh, I'm just sharing kung ano yung mga na-discover ko, ano yung mga nalaman ko. Because I know, very important tong word, and uh, dapat talaga uh, binibigyan natin ng panahon nito. Right? With that, Anything that I would say at this point in time, yung mga watches natin is just a mere probability. And kung uh, bibira ka o bibili ka ng uh, mga position, base lang sa sinabi ko, you might lose money. No? And that's the uh, last thing I, I, I don't want you to do or to have yung mga losses na malalaki. No? Kasi because I don't know how you execute your trades kung... Ano ba yung uh, oras mo para mabantayan yan? And position sizing, hindi ko rin alam. Right? So, maraming factors, no? And yung execution mo, pa paano ka ba mag-execute? And also, yung mga threshold mo, lalo na pag nag-drawdown yan. No? So, maraming factors na still in play, even though pare-pares tayo ng stocks na tinitrade, eh, maraming factors pa rin, no? So, let's start. Uh, ATN, no? one of the few, few 
trades na malalakas na nagko-consolidate pa rin sa top. And maganda yung price structure niya, no? Medyo sideways and currently sitting at 144. That's a very very good support, no? Even 143, 142. But uh, I think two weeks ago, no, nag-spike up siya but uh, was rejected. I think this is 147 if I'm not mistaken. Right, so may nag break down yung index, right? So marami stocks yung nag break down. Pwedeng malipat yung sentimiento dito sa ATN. But we don't want to jump right away because wala naman tayo nakikitang big, big volume that would indicate na talagang it would resume the uptrend, no? But right now, we just want to put this on our watch list, itong ATN. Maganda yung kanyang uh, consolidation at the top and yung price structure niya buong-buo pa rin, no? And I think ma maganda rin bantay ito yung ATN because once the index recover, I think this is one of the candidates na talagang pwedeng bumulusok itong ATN. Right, with that, we have yung SSI. SSI, we have a support breakdown last Friday. Pangita naman, currently sitting at 2.13 ngayon. But uh, we should be watching, no? At this point in time, yung 1.8. No? Medyo malalim-lalim dito. Because uh, that would pose a good to risk to reward ratio, no? Ngayon, di pag bumili ka sa 2.13 ngayon, Medyo, kumbaga sa ano, delikado eh, no? Uh, yung potential downside mo, meron pa rin. And I think we should be looking at this point in time sa uh, 1.8, no? Especially Monday bukas. Pagka Monday yung mga sentiment ng Friday, lalo na pagka breakdown na ganito, pwede mag dire yan. Right? So right now, watch this lang muna. Uh, bantayan muna natin yung SSI if magkakaroon pa ng further breakdown. Hindi ko lang kasi na-zoom out. And next on our watch list, isa pa nga sa mga nag-breakdown ng Friday, itong PRMX. We we're seeing uh, soft support dito sa area na to. I think this is above 250. And right now, no? I do not see a good to risk to reward kung dito ka bibili sa 250. We want this to be bought around 1, 205 to 195 man lang, no? Dito sa area na to. At least maganda naman yung, ano mo dyan, yung risk to reward mo dyan sa PRMX, no? So, marami tayo nakikita ang breakdowns, no? Currently, because of the current market condition, medyo nagre-retrace yung index, and with that, yung mga ganitong stocks na, ano, shaky, sila yung mga talagang, uh, umabagsak, no? So, Again, you don't treat me as your guru, no? Side by side tayo, I also do trades and wala naman akong mga binibentang libro or seminars. And if I don't generate a good watch list or a good uh, set of stocks to watch, uh, magre-reflect din naman yan sa, sa performance ko. No? So, I don't want to, to cost naman na yung mga losses nyo. And be very defensive, no? Especially sa mga ganitong panahon. Right? So, next on our watch list, eto na. I think uh, we're, we're monitoring din etong PCOR for the last two weeks. And we, we are really approaching no, itong buy zone na 6.50 to at least 5.50 area, no? itong green zone na to. And uh, we're just seeing no, na malapit na. Currently, 6.60. And get ready, no? Because uh, I think this week magkakaroon ng potential uh, reversal ito. Kahit siguro mga one day or yung mga three day reversal na tinatawag natin itong PCOR. Uh, right now yung sentiment was bad because tulad ka na sinabi ko itong PCOR was uh, kick out of the index. And kapag ka na-kick out naman index, alam naman natin that the managers are forced to liquidate. And... Nakikita naman natin, no? Hindi na pangkaraniwan yung, ano, yung selling volume niya. But the good thing is someone is, is buying, no? The other side. And right now, we're seeing na na lalapit na siya, no? Sa buy zone, itong green area na to. And let's try to check and see, no? And timing natin itong P-Core. Right. Next, on our watch list, pangitang-pangita naman. The support did hold and Thursday, Friday, maganda yung pinapakita ng FEN. 
Ang gusto ko dito sa pen, bukod sa nag-hold yung support, we did see yung AC energy medyo nag uh, tumaas yung presyo and that's good because pwede niyang mahila tong pen and yung sentiment ng pen uh, para tumaas. No? So, right now, uh, pwede na. Pwede na pasukin if, if, if you could uh, buy this at 131 sa Monday. 130, no? Kahit pa paano. 129, magandang magandang buy na yan. And for pen, sana hatakin siya ng AC. No? Yung sentiment. And Let's try to check and see, no? I think uh, medyo matagal-tagal na rin. Marami na rin nag dito sa pen na to. Because of this volume, eh, no? Kapag taas na to, uh, medyo institutional na uh, buying yan. Yung ganyan itsura niyan. So, let's try to check and see, no? Put this on your watch list, itong pen. I think uh, hinog na. Hinog na itong pen para sa another uptick, no? o yung another movement so again isa sa mga under the radar etong DMW alright so are we going to buy right now oh, so para siyang cap no nga lang uh, medyo may ano siya rito eh. may break daw siya rito sa area na to right now ang gusto ko kung akong mag execute nito I'll check and really look into sa 10 area no? if this pass dito sa 10 malaking chance na bumalik siya sa kanyang IPO price no? itong DMW so get ready and put this on your watch this again itong DMW and right now yun yung gusto kong mangyari no? mahit niya itong 10 area and let's try to check and see kung ano yung gagawin niya no? if, if, it's, if it uh, hits yung 10 area malaki talaga yung chance na bumalik siya sa IPO. No? So, that is a good, good, ano. Under the radar lang, halos walang volume. And uh, nakita ko lang, no, as, a, as I was scanning, maganda-ganda rin information itong DMW, no. Almost cap and handle na nga, eh, no. But at least to be safe, doon tayo bibili sa area na yan, itong green area na to. Right. Last but not the least sa ating watch list would be surpass, no. Uh, imagine mo if you have not taken profit dito sa surpass baka naging losses ka na ngayon no? it even went beyond yung uh, support niya na 180 marami yung nag-aabang dito eh, no? a support etong 180 but it break down no? it even fills yung support sa, sa 180 ngayon patuloy sa, sa pagbagsak and right now no? we're really really curious and we're really hoping na ma mapagbigyan ulit tayo dito sa 140 area no. And maganda-gandang ano yan, maganda-gandang presyo na yang surpass na yan no. Yun nga lang kasi pag ganto mga reversal, sila rin yung unang mga naaatrasan no. So katulad na nangyari sa CHP, Xweb no. Yung mga bottom once na nag-reverse naman yung market, sila rin yung talagang unang bumabalik sa kanila ng presyo. Again, Uh, watch this muna and be defensive at this point in time hindi natin alam on how the market will react kung magre-retrace ba pabalik sa, sa sa level of support or ma-overcome yung 8,000 Med medyo nabigatan sa 8,000 level and guys I, I really thank you no, for, for watching this uh, channel and again see you next week guys uh, this is PSEI recap.